tools to actually generate the picture from the SUV test. So can I like that? So how do I use you today uh, unit test? It's simply by um, putting some assertion in a special class. And this assertion basically says whether uh, a member return a valid place paid or not. But uh, I wasn't knowing whether there is no nothing else that I that can gain from uh, uh, from test. For example, non function properties such as architecture components and some patterns, some infection patterns. Some other things such as coverage or some escaping values. So um, one way of of uh, tackle this uh, this uh, expression is by uh, defining a history model for classes. So whenever um, uh, I run a unit a test in the S unit class, then I generate uh, a history for a class, and then I will display this class on the screen by using some color maps. So uh, now I will show you this history mechanism. So here I have very simple, um, very simple test. Test merging two rectangles. Just take two rectangles. Merge them and assert that the, the, the resulting rectangle is the, uh, it's too bad. the big uh, the merging of the two. So here there is when when I execute this test, the first one is, is, is executed. So there is nothing that has to do with rectangle and graph rectangle. So rectangle is the class I'm interested in. So there is nothing uh, uh, rest to rectangle. Then I'll go to the second line, which actually creates and then start to the class rectangle using the method left, right, or the bottom. So this method, this class method, uh, creates an instance of the class rectangle and then tap on the, the method set the region corner on this rectangle. So every every message is that uh, an instance of the class rectangle we receive, then it's going to produce a, a column in this in this graph here. So the second line is identical to the first one, and then here I have the merging. And when the merging is sent on the class rectangle, then rectangle, a merging called the class corner, which called the class origin corner, and then called the, uh, the method set origin corner on the instance of rectangle. So like this, I can build my story, my set of columns. So it's, each column is made of frame. And this frame actually represents one me method called type frame. So there is no magic there. And each frame knows that the receiver, the arguments, and the method name. And then now, so so here is just the three, the, the three first step of um, of the story. But I can have something like way bigger. And then I go into each frame. Then I can create a color map and display this this story. So I, for example, I can have something like this. This is uh, this example that I obtained from the view. And here each color says that. Um, so each color is a central package. So here this. This graph shows this graph has been produced by the, the test test unit name in the PI command test. <coughs> and then at the end of the of the test I can have this graph here is produced. So it's using one per amount. The last few things that you can see, such as some small here tip, like castle. So I don't really know what it means, but I have this kind of uh, of pattern of cannabis. For example, here this one say, uh, I monitor the method plus. And then I open four windows in screen. So then I have this graph. Then uh, there are few, few other, uh, few other maps such as each color here is uh, belongs. To, uh, each color is a class. So I mean that when this test is executed, I can see all different classes that I import within this test. Then I can do such uh, by using proper, uh, different a new color map. I can see what are the values that I, that I escape. So here the range is. First bottom line here shows what are the instances of the, the variable that I passed when a uh, method called is sent, what are the instances uh, are passed, and the red is the set of that are passed to an object. Yeah. So yeah, so I can have some some other uh, some other graphs. So for the so here I'm just in the class PR either and this this graph shows that all the methods involved all the methods that belong to the class PR either are displayed. So the white one, that there, there, there are some random methods. So maybe I can do a demo. Okay, so here this is the, um, the um, this is a PA image. So when I run it, so you see the oh no, sorry. <laughs> So 
But here, this is a PI match. So, I'm going here, I run some tests. So, this is just to show you the speed, the order that uh, um, Kerala will take, which is not that much. So, when I go to Kerala, the, the only thing I have to do is just to put an annotation with my, uh, my SUNIT class. So, here, this is the hierarchy of different SUNIT classes. So, let's put here the, 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 the root. So, in each class here, made by, by Lucas, I believe, and there is a method here, which is the actual class that we tell the class that the test is supposed to run. Um, so here I have a different method here. <coughs> and here I just return a new array that contains this, this class here. So when I run here, the Yes. Yes. Sorry. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, I'll run the test again. And for each test that pass, then I have a uh, history that is generated. Okay, so now I can browse the list of history that has been generated. So I have Quite a few of them. So I can filter them and say, okay, so let's say that I'm interested in, in, in history that contains more than, let's say, 50, 60 moments. So a moment is a column in my, in my history. And then now I can select one. And here I have the list of column maps that I can apply to them. So let's pick this one. So here, here I see, so here I see uh, each color is one package. So I see that when, when the method here test from screen, which is, which is the one right? Okay, so here I can have some. And then for the, the then I can, so here I can see all the package involved into this test. And I can see some other, um, so here I can see for the other, um, this one shows the different methods involved into the test that belong to the class via document description. Here I can see different objects interacting. So it means that in this case I have three, three different colors and this test, the test I'm um, visualizing involves three instances of the class via document rectangle. And here I see all the classes involved. All the and this one is for example all the different objects involved into this test. So please don't ask me what, what this thing is good for, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, but not interesting the fact that you can have some some uh, some feature you can get on from excuse me. Yeah, I missed something. I think. Uh, what's each line like what's the take? Alright, so sorry. So, so here, for example, when I press here on a small uh, frame, it means that this frame corresponds to the class, to method perform test on the class, the oh, and the, the class via the command description. Okay. And each line is a new frame? Yeah, so each line, so actually it depends on which color map you use, but in that case, in that case, I don't know which one is the... Okay, so in that... So, so here, for example... <laughs>